Welcome everyone to my new tutorial video presentation for Bingak Exchange Spot Trading. Today I would like to share with you how to do this step by step with all the details needed to do it safely and confidently. For those of you that do not have an account, make sure to utilize the link in the description area or comments area to benefit of discounts, bonuses and giveaways. You can also sign up with a new email and you're good to go. You need an account. You need to have resources in your account. We deposited $100 in this tutorial account that we have here with Bingex and we're ready to do it. So once you're logged in on the top left corner, you got your spot, which means you're actually buying that specific quantity of cryptocurrency that you can actually move in a different wallet. You can actually leave on Bingex, but this is not futures. This is not leverage. It's not margin. It's not derivatives which means that you're actually owning that specific quantity of crypto. You can move anywhere you want. It exists and it's going to be yours, right? So this is how spot trading is. That's how we buy the cryptocurrencies in this specific space. Trading those cryptocurrencies in the futures market is something else we're going to discuss about in the other videos. Now, when it comes down to the spot trading, there is actually two solutions on Bingax, convert and then the spot. Conversion is a little bit different. It's easier, but it's more expensive. And there is a smaller uh, variable of cryptocurrencies you can convert. For example, we want to spend USDT because this is what we have. Your USDT, your resources must be in your fund account, right? So they cannot be in your futures account. If they're in your futures, you need to transfer that internally. There is no fees, just transfer from the wallet of futures into the wallet of the fund internally. Once you got your resources ready, you want to make sure that let's say we're going to buy, you know, 50 USDT, simply get through the list of cryptocurrencies available on this conversion tab. There is not many, which is why it's a disadvantage. And on top of that, fees are bigger, which is why I am not suggesting you to utilize the conversion feature. Better go into the spot trading tab, which is where I'd like to share with you. Once we are on this trading panel of the spot, we will be able to see the whole picture as I am portraying right now. I'm just going to zoom in a little more to see all the details better. Let's put it this way and go ahead and do this. So the first step we need to know is the pair we're looking forward, which means the assets we're looking forward purchasing. And if we got USDT, then we want to make sure we are in the USDT category listed right there at the top. Let me just bring that to you this way. Uh, it seems like it disappeared. But the idea is quite simple, right? So this USDT right here is the USDC as well. Depends on what kind of cryptocurrencies do you want to swap, right? Depends what you would like to change. Usually you need to have a USDT or a USDT to buy other cryptocurrencies. That's the most popular way of buying it. You can also have any of the assets as your favorites and they're going to be listed here, which is something very comfortable to work with. Now, assuming we are having USDT and would like to buy, I don't know, you know, kind of a, any kind of an altcoin, we just have to look for that specific pair and we are simply having our search history as well or hot topics, which is something usually people go and buy these things. We're just going to go buy Solana, right? We'll say Solana and then we get the pairs available. We got Solana USDT and below that you have the volume for the last 24 hours. Usually, uh, you know, the reality is that this big cryptocurrency is indeed have a much stronger volume for the last 24 hours than the other uh, all sorts of copy and, you know, similar Solana type of pairs right there. For example, or Solama or SolC or Solo USDT. This guy has $48,000. The other one has $8.85 million. You want to be sure that you're actually on the right pair you care about. Solana USDT. We get into that. And uh, once we're on the page, we know that we're going to buy with our USDT Solanas. On the top right corner, we got basically the ability. We want to make sure we are sitting on spot. Let me just share that with you. This is the place right there. You are sitting on spot and not on greed. No. The next thing is you want to be on the buy and you got two options below market or limit, which stands for the market order or for the limit order. Let's talk about it. This is the place you actually have the resources available, the place you set the amount, uh, how much Solana's you're going to get is listed right there. 
and what will be the estimated trading fee for your specific transaction. Everything is listed on this specific side of the page. You also have your assets portfolio at this range and you pretty much know everything about them. We got a market order and a limit order, the two types of uh, buying ways possible. Market order is usually more expensive, a limit order is cheaper, but you need to know how to utilize that. If you don't have the knowledge, then you simply go with a market order. Today, I'd like to explain you. The market order is automatically going to get the best price from the order book that is existent and complete your order with the best price existent of other people willing to sell. These other people that are willing to sell, finding themselves in the order books, are actually the ones that did a limit order. Because this is what happens. When you do a limit order, you get yourself set up in the order book. And you wait for the price of the market to match your limit order price you decided. For example, now it's $135.30. You know, $30. $135.30. cents. If I want to buy this thing at $130, I'm going to set that price on a limit order. I'm going to put the amount. This is how much Solanas I'm going to get. This is how much USDT I'm going to spend. This is going to be, you know, uh, the amount of Solana, the fees in Solana, and I'm just going to hit buy Solana. We're going to get the list details over there. Simply confirm. This way, it's going to be an open order. It has not been completed, right? Because the market is sitting on $135. And the price you see is right there in between the red column and green column of the order book. This is the live price, which is sitting in the middle. That's the live index price. You also see it on the top left corner. So once that specific price section is touching the one you have mentioned you want to buy, your order is going to be filled up with volume, right? So as soon as someone wants to buy uh, $100 worth of Solana, you're going to be matched and you're good to go. Your order also appears on the screen, limit $130, uh, you know, dollars, and this is the amount of Solana I'm going to get for that value, and that's it, simple. Uh, if you don't want it this way, because simply you want to buy it at the current price, then you can either work it around, set your limit order near, to your to the actual price which means it's you know it's it's 135.50 is right so 135 let's put it on 135.30 and then i'm going by the entire quantity and i'm just going to hit buy solanas if the market is decreasing to 135.30 which is just you know a couple of cents away 20 cents away from the current price my order is going to be built up and i'm going to have that solana I'm not sure if we should wait on this video for the price action to go there. It might take, you know, I don't know, a minute or two, and I don't want to waste your time, guys. So this is the way you can actually buy near to the price, which is going to get filled up easier, and you also save on fees. When you put the limit order near to the actual price, very near to the actual price, you pretty much save on fees if you do it this way. If you want your order to be executed automatically, we're going to cancel this one, right? You go to the market order, and during the market order, you do not decide on the price. The price is the best one available of Solana being sold, which means at 137, 138, right? It's always listed uh, right there. Above the price, the very next price section is basically the best pricing. This is the amount of Solana existing at that specific price. If you are uh, buying more, then it's going to pick higher and higher and higher and higher. With each cent, as the price section goes higher, you're having more and more Solanas available to be purchasing, right? It's simple and straightforward. There is no big difference here. Just with, with 10 cents, you can actually buy probably 1,000 more Solanas, which is 10 cents price section difference. If you do the market order, you know, let's do a market order of $50. Let's simply put here 50 bucks, right? Market order 50 bucks. Buy Solana. We will be able to buy Solana. Market order filled. And it's good to go. Now, we have a total Solana listed on the bottom right corner here. 
of 0 0.369, right? This is our total Solana. This is the amount it's worth in USDT. And simply from the time we got into, it's 0 PNL, right, on Solana. I mean, that's the place you see if the market is going higher from the time you get into, how much money you made or how much money you have lost. In a nutshell, your Solanas that you're having since you got into the performance and the results of your activity can be seen over there. Increases or decreases of the value. Simple. Uh, this is where we have it. At the same time, we can go to order history and see our Solana that the average price we paid is listed right there, 135.34. Let me just present that to you as well. Uh, we got filled up on our Solana. This is how much we spent in USDT. And the status is success. You see the other ones are cancelled because simply I cancelled them. Did not execute those limit orders. This was a market order. These are the huge differences. Beautiful. Now, what if uh, I'd like to take my Solana from here and move it on a different exchange, move it to an external wallet, move it on a wallet on my smartphone, move it anywhere I want from this exchange. I simply go to the Assets tab and Fund Account, right? And then I'm going to have my Solanas listed right here, uh, of which that I can simply click on Withdraw. And then I'm going to go by selecting my Solana, have to put the wallet address I am sending, the network I'm going to send this one. You want to make sure you always send on the cheapest network available and you are good to go by cashing out your Solana with that. Very simple, guys. Your USDT is going to remain in the account. Solanas will be sent out if you want to do that. Otherwise, you can leave your resources here and you're good to go with that one. You always have your deposit. Let me share that with you. You always have your deposit right there and withdraw over there. Simply transfer between the wallets from your fund account, which is the base of your account, into the futures account, right? Which is something that you're using if you want to leverage. If you want to trade on the futures market, you are going into the futures account and you transfer. We're going to have a different video for that. This one is specifically on how to do spot trading. What about selling my crypto? Let's get back into the spot. And simply let's do, you know, another market order. Right now the price section is uh, lower than we got into our trade, right? And we already have a loss in our Solana position of uh, two cents, as you can see. Now, what if I would like to sell? Simply got to change the button here from buy to sell on the top right corner. I'm going to have my available Solanas. I'll take this you know, button to the right as much as possible because I want to sell 100% right of the available. This is the maximum I'm going to get, a bit of a trading fee right there, 5 cents, and I'm going to sell my Solanas simply just like that. Confirm, and we're good to go. Now we got zero Solanas, and everything is back into our USDT. Beautiful. If we go to the buy, then we're going to see the resources into USDT, and we're good to go. This is how you sell. With a market order, you buy and sell 100%. When you do limit order, the price of the market must hit your price section. You know, that's also fine. I mean, if you want to buy at $100, you just, you know, put a limit order at $100, right? Just like that. And I'd like to buy, you know, I, like, I can also put my USDT value that I want to buy, or I can also put my Solana value that I'd like to buy. But let's say out of USDT, which is something that I know I got $99 there, I like to buy 50. Simply, I'm going to put my limit, buy Solana, and then I can simply just, you know, move away from my uh, computer for weeks and months. Meanwhile, the price section can suddenly over the night get into that range. I'll get my order filled and I'm going to have Solana's bought up at $100. Simple and straightforward like that. Beautiful. That's pretty much all, guys. We're going to cancel this one as well. We don't need it at the moment. You see your order history. That's the place you see all these details. And, you know, that's it. I mean, simple and straightforward. Once again, folks, 
If you would like to become a trader, if you would like to learn how to trade and you're taking this one seriously, I do have a one-on-one -on -one coaching. For those of you that care about this, is a professional coaching intensively with me. Make sure to check out uh, scramblecoaching.com for more details. Enjoy, have a good time, and we'll talk to you soon.